Hello, my name is Kurt Weiser and I'm the stay-at-home dad artist. What we're going to do today is take you through the creation of a pastel painting from start to disc. And I am a stay-at-home dad. I paint during my son's naps of two and a half hours every day, luckily. Um, and it's a lot of fun and uh, I, I'm very fortunate. So what we'll start off with today is the painting of our piece here. Uh, we will underpaint Underpainting gives us the basic um, base values for our lightest lights and our darkest darks. There we can develop our painting by layering pastel to create our finished product, our autumn color. So let's get painting and have some fun. Let's do it. We'll begin by outlining our areas and positioning our shapes. Here's our fall scene. It's a beautiful red maple at its peak fall color. We'll start by having these shaded areas which naturally frame the maple creating this nice focal point in the middle. We'll have a composition by creating depth with a mountain range kind of cutting across the page and give it some interest. And from here we have our darkest dark or our coolest area underneath our canopy and our lighter area with our sky. Now you're going to hear me talk a lot about color temperature. Basically. Cooler colors such as blues and violets are used for the backdrop and you know distant mountains and shaded areas and then the warmer colors such as yellows and oranges are used for more of the mid and foreground objects and the lighter areas. What we've done is have our initial color uh, in hard pastel to create our backdrop. We use cooler colors, our blues and our violets. I really love violet and, and purples. So I always have to have them in our, my painting. I think it's my son's favorite color. And um, it's a very strong color. And we're going to, I love this purple. My son has a little bit of uh, himself also with me in every painting, be it, you know, fingerprints like this or something thrown over my shoulder. I should sign his name with mine. Uh, we're going to underpaint with rubbing alcohol. Alcohol actually dries a lot faster than water. That's why I like to use it. What I do is fill a little bit up in multiple glasses so I can clean my brush between colors so the colors don't get all muddled together. The underpainting is going to give us multiple layers in depth without losing the tooth of our paper for our dry pastel. So let's get to underpainting. It looks sloppy, but it's going to come out good. Trust me. <laughs> you got kind of those cool highs and lows. You know, those edges to soft edges. It's kind of nice. It might look like a mess, but we have these nice bases of blue violets in the back. Our magenta for our tree. You know, it's more working on our cooler colors. And now what we're going to do is use our dry pastel and we're going to layer them up. So now our underpainting has dried and let's start with our dry pastel. This is a lot of fun. So we're going to start from the background to our foreground. There we go. And just kissing the paper with this just to kind of create just that little, little touch of the leaves coming through. See, now we're getting our composition in. Now, what we're going to do is do a little bit stepping up the red. So we started off with a magenta, which is a cooler red. So we're going to step it up, starting to go to a medium red, warmer, and then the warmest red for the, 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 most, uh, the, the furthest out and the most light. I'm just kind of accenting the red maple, kind of giving it its nice warm edges, and I'm going to go back and just kind of create these light edges throughout. Now what we're going to do is uh, do our forefront. This is our wildflower mix. You can't go wrong. We're going to use the same colors that we kind of used up here for our greens and, and, and uh, yellow greens and reds and purples down in our, our mix down here. Okay, so I kind of cleaned it up and just did a little bit of, you know, little details that will uh, draw the eye in to, to make it a little more interesting. 
Um, we kind of made our darkest darks over here like we were talking about and our lightest lights up in the sky and created that warmth off of this red maple that's, that's kind of framed by our two shaded areas as our focal point. We finally finished our painting. We have it signed and ready to roll. Perfect timing. I think my son's waking up.